Hello there guys, welcome back to another episode of ENF TV. We're here at the Cove UK offices down in Selsey, where we're gonna be meeting the team, seeing the environment, and also catching up with Gordon Walker, who's the operations director. We can't wait to show you all the content that we're bringing with Cove. We've been working with them exclusively for some time now, and now we're embarking on a brand new recruitment campaign and brand awareness campaign, where we're bringing you all types of content. Um, so yeah, take a look around, go see who's here, go see the environment and the different things that are going on and we'll come back to you when we go find Gordon. See you in a bit. Hello there guys, welcome back to another episode of ENF TV. Um, you'll see that I'm in a very different setting today. Um, I'm actually at the Cove UK offices down in Selsey um, and I'm very, very happy to be here. Um, we are joined by Gordon, um, who we've actually been working, well, we've actually been working with Cove exclusively for some time now, but we've managed to finally meet. So it's yes, good to meet you, yeah, Gordon. Good to meet you too. <laughs> it's, <laughs> <eventually. good. laughs> and it's great to be here. It's, uh, one thing that's actually been overwhelming is everybody's been so lovely from the front desk to the people that don't have any idea who I was. Good. And they just walked me through, they found where I needed to be. They've been absolutely brilliant. Excellent. Well, that kind of tells you the kind of culture piece is working, isn't it? Oh, well, this is it. This is it. And yeah. it's, it's coming across really, really well. And obviously all the filming that we've been doing today, it's been a lot of fun. Brilliant. Um, I think a really great place to start, Gordon, would be to understand, I suppose, your background and, and what you do within Cove. Okay, well, my, my background is left school and was June as usual, trying to work out what you wanted to do in life. Yeah. And um, I applied for a holiday park um, job and I put my CV in with my photograph and didn't get an answer. Oh. <laughs> and I seen, I seen an advert again for the same job and I put my CV in again with my photograph and didn't get an answer. <laughs> right. And then I seen an advert which said the same job and it was a recruitment day in a hotel. And oh. I kind of went, I'm going to go along just to see why I was unsuccessful. And that kind of started my whole journey in, in caravan parts because I was successfully got the job. Yeah. I then worked my way because within this sort of industry, no matter what experience you have, it's, mm. it's, it's on part learning. Yeah. And then I traveled right through everything from, from food and beverage to assistant general manager to general manager. I see my career go across to the Canada and back over to Barbados and yeah. over to, to the UK again. And it's just been amazing. That's, 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 that's what I do, you know. No, absolutely. And, and now I'm cur currently uh, the operations director for, for Cove UK. So that sees me still traveling and still mm. going up and down the, the length of the country, but amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, I love it. One thing that is to note there, I suppose, and it's a subject that keeps coming up quite a bit, is that barrier to entry into hospitality generally mm. is so low. So therefore, there's so much opportunity for somebody to come in at such a junior level. Yeah and then yet touch on so many different areas and so many yeah. different functions. Yeah. And, and again, I suppose hospitality being the people industry that it is, you also then meet so many different amazing people, especially if you get to travel like yourself. Yeah, well, it's, look, it's life lessons mm. that, you know, you leave school and you may, may think you have the necessary sort of skill set to, to yeah. do anything and you, you, you find an industry that, that welcomes you in. And, and we'll give you every one of those skill sets. We, we, we have recruitment company. We have obviously work with you guys, mm. but we also have other companies that come in and we will do skill set. We have our own yeah. in-house training that we do. And, and, you know, we promote and, and welcome the people to join us. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. For, for anybody that doesn't know who Cove UK is, can you just give us an idea of what it is and, and who Cove are? Um, so Cove started off um, with uh, our American company mm -hmm. who, who own numbers of resorts uh, through the, uh, the States. And as much as they are generally RV parks, mm -hmm. um, and a kind of RV is where you just drive your big vehicle and yeah. drive into these parks. And it can, it's, a, it's a different setup to the UK, whereas we're, we're caravan parks, but we have caravan parks and residential properties, so residential yes. parks too. So it's yeah. kind of two sides to the, to the business there. Um, roughly about 2018 stroke 19 where, where Cove started mm. and, and we went in very quick and hard into the industry with, mm. with quite a lot of um, parks that we put onto the portfolio 
and we were planning to do more this year until such time that the economy stalled a little bit. So yeah. what we've tried to do is get better at what we're doing, both in terms of our UK operations, mm. um, until we then start to look at further going out to, to expand the portfolio. So taking a little bit of time first. Yeah, absolutely. I, I know that there's a, a lot of plans ahead, which brings me on to my next question with, I mean, what's exciting? What's coming for Cove? Because I know that you guys, every time we catch up, there's always something going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, listen, I mean, uh, we, we, we've been quite hard um, this year in terms of um, CapEx and spending and improving our park facilities because that's the thing that you have to keep up with. The customers are looking for something ever-changing, something different. Our bosses really um, strive to, to for us to be creative in terms yeah. of Seal Bay, for example, where we've we've just invested, you know, into this massive big dockyard indoor play area, which was all based around, you know, uh, architectural um, sort of seaside resorts. It's right. just it, it, we we come up with something conceptual every year. Um, to Strathek, where we built accommodation that consists of a pod that has an upstairs mezzanine floor and then fire pits outside which you then make you know make use of the the environment it's just i guess from our point of view is just making sure that we're constantly ahead of the curve and and, yeah. and that's what we customers are looking for so yeah no absolutely absolutely well Gordon, I know you're busy. I know you dragged you out of your office just now. <laughs> but thank you so much for no, taking the good time. To, good to meet you too, eventually, yeah. No, exactly yeah, that, yeah. exactly that, exactly. <laughs> um, and guys, we're doing a lot with Cove over the coming, uh, well, year. Um, as we say, we've already worked with them exclusively on a number of commercial roles, but we're actually doing a lot of work on their wider recruitment piece as well. So get ready, because there's going to be a lot of content coming your way from Cove, the team at Cove, um, and we're really excited about what's to come. So thank you so much for tuning into this week week's episode. Don't forget, like and subscribe to the channel. We're working so hard to bring you weekly content, which is quality value added content with people just like Gordon. So thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.